and we're back for another episode of Silent Hill 2. Ah, uh, yeah, this could be good. So, after a bit of fucking around, Tom's found his way a bit further into the game. Haven't you? No. You're not enjoying yourself? No. <laughs> I keep saying the controls are in this, and I, they do. No, no, it's an, it's an old game, but it's old and it's treasured, and I love it. This is a part of my childhood. My very, very fucking you know, childhood. That is the same excuse people come up with for defending like racist grandparents. Oh, it's old. It's of its time. <laughs> you have to forgive it. It's just, it's just how it is. It can't change, so don't worry about it. I'm just gonna rotate the computer so it's a bit less out of the way. There we go. So I'm assuming I'm going in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. Just, just keep. Look, see, even the road signs are telling you what to do. No, because if the road signs were telling me what to do, they'd be saying just switch off. No. Yep. Or one with a power button on it. Yep. <laughs> I would, I'd like to see one with like a vector with the red cross and a slash where it's saying don't go forward, bloodstain. You see, that's what they should put on the box of Sonic Boom. Oh god, that game. Have you seen the new trailer for the new game yet? It's old, old trailer, but it's called What Happens When You Mix Fire <coughs> and Ice? No, I've not seen it. Steam or water. It's called Sonic Boom Fire and Ice, and oh, it looks boring. I never playing it. I refuse to play it. it. Looks like you're actually in the main area. Oh, someone's having a heavy flow. No, I'd say somebody's. Looks like a giant dog is start wiping his ass. Oh wait, no. Period. Blood. Oh, what's that? Hey, look, a friend. Look. He's dancing. Let's go say hello. Nope. No, let's go say hello to nope. him. Come on. Logging off. No, Tom, come on, you can do this. Nope. Okay. <laughs> You've got this. I don't think you're as scared of games as you think you are. I think you just you like to avoid being unhappy like everybody else. But you're strong and you can do this. Except there's nothing about this game that's enjoyable. It's enjoyable. It's a really interesting story. You love a good story. You've always said you love a good story. Right? Can we go down on Bernie Sanders Street? <laughs> I don't know if you'd appreciate that, Tom. <laughs> Come on. Well, he's for the people. Come on, we can. Yeah, we are. He's for the people, and he will always be up for the people. Come on. I love Bernie Sanders, he's awesome. We should all love Bernie Sanders. <coughs> Even us Brits over here love Bernie Sanders. He's a good guy. Who's the most sensible one in America right now? Yeah, well, most rational. I think, I think if Trump becomes president, we'll have to um, just find a cave somewhere in the Highlands and just isolate ourselves and the rest of the world. Don't tell everyone where we're going to be, because then <laughs> because then everyone will be up in the Highlands, and that would be awful. Like we're seeking refuge. Can we join us? The Trump's coming. <laughs> oh, he's not a fan of Scotland at the moment anyway. No, no, we're not either. Well, I'm not Scottish, you are. What do you mean, we're not fans of Sorry. Scotland? <laughs> no, we're not, we're not a fan of Trump. <laughs> uh, dare you? Long walking. Oh, look, an open gate. Showing your English Where heritage you there. That's how people walk. When they against the wall, they just sort of take a massive 90 degree turn and run around in a circle and go back through the gate. Oh, do I have to play this game? Yes, it's really interesting. Come it's on. It's awful. It's a brilliant game. I love it. No. Tom, if I can enjoy Harry Potter, you can enjoy this. Oh, come on. You're going the right way. I, I tell you what, I'll always tell you when you're going the right way. How's that help? Okay? If my finger started going towards the off button, would that be going in the right way? I don't know. There appears to be something against the wall. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You have to check things. You have to press X. That's what I'm doing. Well, go up against There's a gap in the wood there, look. Oh. I thought that was an oil drum, like a giant. You know, there's. Tankers that you get on the back of oh, what's, what's some lorries and stuff. What was that? Looks like he's found something. Is that a radio? Uh oh. And this is where I'm gonna die. Maybe fine, okay. To so defend yourself. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be absolutely famous last words. You'll be Fine. Uh-huh. Can you get the straight jacket off? 
it's covered in fry light and it's stuck. All right, you've got a weapon. So to arm yourself. So to so wield a weapon, you hold down R2 or R1, I can't remember. And then you press X to swing it. So hold down R2 and swing. We have to get up to it first. <laughs> it's too far away. There you go. There you go. See, so you got it. Look. Can I just say that depth perception on this isn't exactly joyful? It was a bit of an awkward camera angle. What the hell is it? It's your mother! <laughs> She's telling you to put on a proper suit and tie! <laughs> I was really hoping he'd bring that up. You should not be in this thing! What should I be doing right now? Actually, that's a good point. So, some of those mannequins that you just killed right there yeah. look like they have a tie on. <laughs> I always find that very funny. They've got like a blood stain like down the centre of their chest, but it actually looks like they're wearing a tie. It's because they're Tories and the devil has ripped out their heart. Very good. Politics, Tom. Well, sorry. Well, we we're talking about ties. Ja, come to ting fa beep it eek. I D U K. He wants to jam me. She's got jam. She's got jam. Better take it anyway. I might need it. Yeah, I might need jam. Ah, oh, jam. Jam, 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 jam. I actually really fancy a jam sandwich right now. We don't have any him. What? No, we don't. Why? Because we didn't buy any. Oh, oh I left my latte by the TV. Oh. That's a shame. Oh well. <clears throat> so now you've got a plank of wood. Oh yeah, items don't break in this game. Okay. So that's one solace. Um, apparently James has a bottomless ass, so he just shoves everything up there, like shotguns, sniper rifles, pistols. He's a top sweat dream, isn't he? Yes, exactly. <laughs> James has quite a spacious rectum. The vacuous ass, yours. Oh look, the road's been destroyed. Dun dun dun. I can't remember how to turn the camera around. I don't think you can, unless you're in a building. Oh, you can. Okay, you figured that out. Way. So, oh yeah, you can walk while. Uh oh. Oh yeah, you, good. Oh, ooh, don't get. To, you're gonna want to kill it soon. It's gonna. Well, I don't know what. To, I can't move. Just go to it and attack it. Oh dear. Yeah. You got this. You got this. That's it. Spank him. Okay. So when they're on the floor, you have to do a finishing move by going up to him and press X without having the um, L button or the weapon button wheel to hold down. So go up to him and press X and you'll finish it off and it won't get back up. So, that will save you time. Those things, when you knock them down to the floor, they'll start crawling everywhere. So you'll struggle a bit there. Um, I think that's like extra perspective view. Um, you took a bit of damage, so... Do you want to check your health, or...? No, because I'd rather die and then... Can we do this nice slot where if I die, it's permanent death? No, come on, Tom. Please. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know where I am. I don't know how to control this damn thing. You keep fine. You're fine. <laughs> it might actually have to be the point where I play it. <laughs> this is unplayable for It's me. not unplayable. What was that? I don't know. I can't move. I've never, I've never seen that before. There's like a little gravestone there. <coughs> You know, no, yeah. I think it was a house. The camera fixed onto it. Do you know what it is? Let me go have a look at it. What is that? Oh yeah, that means you're out of breath or something. And it sounds more like a monster to me. Do you want to go and check the little tombstone thing? I literally think it's right in front of you, but... Oh, it's right there. Okay. Oh, God damn it. That thing's evil, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh my god, just die. There you go. Spank him. Bat him. Yes. Where are tie? There's another one. Oh shit. Oh yeah, don't be afraid to run away from battle. You don't have to kill everything and you don't level up, so if you have to run away, then run away. They're very they don't they're not very good at chasing after you, so if you have to run away, just run. I think that's one of the great things about this sort of era of survival horror is if it gets too hard, then you should run away. Oh good, so I can turn this off then. No! No, I want you to experience this. 
All I'm experiencing is Zigzag Simulator 2016. <laughs> oh yeah, and keep an eye out for health drinks just in case. There might be one actually to the left of you. Uh, or not. Uh, oh yeah, there is one on the floor there, look. Uh, so he'll turn his head towards items sometimes. It's on the floor there. Just pick that. How? X. Look towards it. I am! There you go, you got it. Health drink, way. See, you're fine. Oh, I don't like this. You're, 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 you're doing so good. Just push. <laughs> Breathe. I breathe. You got this. Oh. Oh. Nearly there. <laughs> oh. 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 Die. Oh dear. You got the apartment get key. Apartment, dearest. Apartment get key. Run. <laughs> Yeah, if you need to run from battles, that's absolutely fine. Literally, when I'm out in the streets in this game, I literally just run away from everything because that's just a pain in the ass to go after everything. Mm. Exploration is also rewarded because you might find items and ammo and stuff. Oh god. I tell you what. Yeah. Uh, the handling of this game is more horrifying than the game itself. Why do you say that? What do you, what do you mean the handling of the hand, the controls? The controls, yeah. It's because. Oh my god. You never experienced this sort of gameplay when you were a kid, did you? No, because I played proper games. This is a proper game. It's not hot. It's Zigzag Simulator. Stop it. Zigzag Simulator. <laughs> Zigzag Simulator. It's a good game. Oh, you might want to check your map actually. Do you want to check your map? Triangle. Uh, this, uh... Okay, so we've got the apartment gate key. So we're looking for an apartment building. Do you see him on the map? I feel like I'm playing Dora the Explorer right now. <laughs> Do you see an apartment on the map? <laughs> Do you see an apartment on the map? No. Really, Tom? No, I don't. Where maybe, is it? Maybe Where? it's here. Oh, yay! We did it! Let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> but Rosewater Park has been underlined. Oh, you can't get there. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell you right now. The only way to get there is actually going through the apartment building because it's all fenced off and roads are destroyed and shit. Believe it or not, I think we just went down Martin Street. Yes, you did. You went down my street. That's... All right, come on. Good. Thanks. Come on, we can do this. We're all in this together. And that's your story. Sorry, sorry. Back to politics. Can't help myself. You're you're terrible. I know, which is why I'm going to say, can you take over? Uh, you can do this. I want you to experience this game. I'm experiencing a nightmare, but not for the nightmare reasons that you'd like me to experience. Fuck off. Don't worry, it won't be able to catch up with you. Like, it, the only way it can attack is either headbutting you, or spraying green jizz all over you. Wonderful. Or looks like deodorant, I don't know. <laughs> They're, um... You know that you know in America they have those um, ladies that just come to you and go, Psst, do you enjoy that? How do you like this? Oh, the door that I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> the door that wakes the dark in darkness, opening into nightmares. Okay, fine. That sounds like a lovely place, isn't it? You were actually going the right way before, by the way. There was a against that, so there's a, a fence that can be opened. Ish. So. Oh, sweet. So just look for like a... There you go. There's a key on the door. Fence thing. <laughs> Where's the fence? I don't know. Use the Apomagate key. Yay! There is actually, in this area... This is very weird. There is a newspaper article in this game that sets up for the Silent Hill 4 game that came out like four or five years later. I think, I'm not sure, I need to check the dates to verify, but there's actually an article about a guy called Walter Sullivan, who is the antagonist in Silent Hill 4. So you want to go inside the apartment building now? I can't move. You can do this, Tom. Mm. Come on. Mm. Do this. Mm. Garbage? I'm trying to turn around. <laughs> no. Up is always forward. Come on, you can do this. It's the slow movement that. Yeah, yeah, I will admit that, that gets a bit, get, takes a bit of getting used to, but. 
I guess they just wanted people to experience that for some reason. I don't know what they were planning on doing that. I think it was because it was slower and it made it a bit more challenging to get away from creatures when you're being chased down. Well, that place is locked. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we spent 15 minutes trying to get you to go into the building. I don't know where I'm going. There I was a door. like this you're game. The, like, you, you, you were in the right place. There's a door on the left. Go to the left. You see it? It's like obvious entrance. All right. Not gonna, to me. <clears throat> I think we'll go for another... Should we end the episode here? No, another five minutes. And then I just want to stop playing. I don't... It just doesn't control well. You've got this. Can you see okay? It's a bit dark, isn't it? Oh, boy. Creek. Yeah, we'll both have to, like, shift up a bit, won't we? Oh, my God. Oh, there's a health drink on the thing, though. Where? There. Look. You got a health drink. <laughs> Can you imagine how ridiculous it would look in real life if there was someone running away from something? <laughs> just in zigzags constantly. Okay, that actually reminds me of something. Okay, so on YouTube... When I was a kid, I would Google around for Silent Hill, the movie, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, someone's popular. Someone's popular. And um, there's a guy <laughs> that did this um, video of fixed camera perspective Silent Hill live action movie where he actually walk around as he is now sort of going, da, 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 turning 90 degrees, da, 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 turning 90 degrees left, <laughs> finding something on the floor, doing everything robotically. <laughs> Uh, I, I watched you, it cringy, it was so funny. I'll tell you what's counterintuitive, is having to run towards the camera, but pointing the um, analogue stick up. I will say it again, up is always forward. I know, but it's counterintuitive, no, especially it's not. at the odd back. angles, it just feels really difficult. Back in the day, back in the day, that was how things were done. Okay. What? Well, what? Back in my day, that is how things were done, Thomas! Mm. Oh. Oh, okay, can just be sure. Well, I'm, I'm pressing Oh, he's dead. Pens. Oh, he's dead. Mm. Oh, yeah, so the radio noises. Give him this to you. I've had enough. Fine, oh, okay. Well. Alright, we'll pause it. And I, don't, I don't like these controls! Right, it's <laughs> driving me mad. <laughs> See you guys on Tuesday. Bye. Or whenever.